Hi, in this session, let us see about the cloud hosted Bitbucket. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. So this is the URL bitbucket.org and if you come to this URL, you can create your account clicking this get started for free option. So this is almost similar to how what you will have in your enterprise environment. Let's go to the pricing first. If you go to the pricing here, you will see that there's a cloud hosted option here, which we will try to log in and we'll try to create a repository. And then the self managed is the one which you will have within your corporate environment where they will have their own hosted own hosted Bitbucket repository within your organization. And then I again, I come back to the home page from here. You can click the login if you already have an account or you can click the get started option here as well as here which will give you the option for signing up into bitbucket.org so if you click this get started for free you can provide your email id username and your password and it's going to send a sign up link in your email id which with which you can click and then you can sign up it's pretty straightforward and easy so let us log in with our username and password into bitbucket.org go back to the home page and click the login option for login i already have my login username and password so let me log in so once i log into bitbucket.org with my username and password this is my home page where i have one repository already here which is actually a shared repository with another bitbucket login user so Let's start from the bottom here. If you see here, there is a profile and settings here. If you click on this here, you will see all the all your workspaces. This workspace KRS20 is from another Bitbucket login, and this is my workspace which I have created. So in Bitbucket, it's a little bit different to the GitHub.com. Here you have workspaces, and under workspace you will have projects, and under projects you will have repositories. So we will create one workspace, and then we'll add one project and then we'll add one repository underneath it to see the full thing here for Bitbucket. So if we go to all workspaces here, you see here this is my workspace for this user Kumar and then this is my other workspace from another login here and this workspace has two members and then one repository you can see. If you want to leave this repository, you can click this leave option. So let's go to this workspace and let's see what is available there. So this workspace is the shared one. And if I click on this repository, which is again shared, I don't see an option. I don't, I don't get an option for repository settings here. Underneath it comes, but it's not there because I don't have the admin privileges. And if you see the URL for this git clone KSS7, which is my, this user's login and then bitbucket.org and then the workspace is again the another user's login krs20 and then this is the repository. So since this repository is within my, this login, that's why I am able to clone and do things in this repository. I am having right access to this repository. Can go ahead and edit any file and say commit it or save it. Let's go back to our Bitbucket homepage. Let us go ahead and look into our workspace Kumar S. This is my workspace Kumar S and this is my URL KSS7. This is my username whenever I whatever when I created my login, I provided this username KSS7. So this is the workspace here you need to create a project for creating a repository you can create if you click this plus sign button here you can create workspaces repositories and projects from here also or you can import repositories from somewhere else if you want to and let us go since i already have a workspace here let us go ahead and create a repository and see if i click repository and there is a create repository option here so i can click this one okay so this is the new create new repository page here, if you see the workspace is Kumar S. If you had a different other workspace, you see that option you can select here. And then first we need to provide a project name. We don't have a project created, so we need to provide a project name here. I'll just name it as BB Project 1 and I'll just name it as BB Repo 1. And if you want to make it as a private repository, by default this is selected. Uh, so Bitbucket is a little bit different than GitHub.com where by default the publics are selected and in Bitbucket you will see that they prefer to keep your repositories private and work within your team. So I can just keep it as private repository for this repo. And if you want the same thing, what we have in github.com, if you want to include a readme file, you can include, yes, this the tutorial for beginners, include a readme. Okay, so let me, let me just select whatever is the options, whatever by default it comes. And then if you want to provide a description for King, allow only private folks and then language. So I'll just keep it as uh, defaults. I'll not select any option and I'll create a repository. Okay, so my repository is created, but uh, I have a repository here, which is actually the readme file they created by default. 
error and this is the contents of the readme.md file edit a file create a new file and all these options are there so what we need to do is we need to clone this repository and we need to put in our files and then push back if we want to start using this repository of course you can do a git remote add and add this url and start pushing in your code code if you had an empty repository now we have our repository already created you can actually see the repository settings here okay this is the repository settings page and here you can set other you can look into all the other options and then the uh, there is an option of delete repository as well here if you want to delete this repository and you can select this uh, other options landing page where where it wants where you whenever you log in go to this repository where you want to land to the source or to the commits or yeah, these are the all the options here which are shown up in this landing page uh, drop down okay now let's go back to our workspace and see that we have a repository here created already and if you go to our projects you should see that we have our bb project one which we created and then if we can go to our workspace all workspace you can see that we have one repository here and which is having one member and this is the other shared repository if you go to the projects it, sh it will show us our project and then the project from the shared repository and that this is our repository and this is a shared repository here and this is logged here which means we don't have a lot of privileges for this project and you can create a project from here also create project option okay that's about creating a repository in bitbucket.org so that's all in this video session i hope it was helpful to you all thank you